To understand how matching a photo works in SketchUp, let's take a quick look at the basic principles of perspective and how they apply. We'll analyze this scene as an example. Basic perspective says that parallel lines will appear to converge toward the horizon when viewed in perspective. Many of the pieces of the building are parallel. So if we extended imaginary lines, we can see how they appear to converge toward the horizon when viewed in perspective. This is the basis for how matching a photo works. Let's export an image of this model and start a new file. Let's import the image by going to File, Import, and finding the image file on your computer. Make sure to change the file type to image files. And for matching a photo, make sure to choose Use as New Matched Photo, then import the image. The image is placed as a background image in SketchUp, and a grid of red, green, and blue lines is displayed. You can see by grabbing and dragging around on the red and green axis bars, you can affect the overall grid, which is really affecting the perspective. Now use the axis bars to align the grid to your photo. Click and drag on the bar itself or on the bar grips. Think of the parallel elements of the building. Try to adjust the edges such that they are lined up with the parallel objects in your photo. And do this both for the red and the green pair of axis bars. For more accuracy when placing the bar grips, you can roll the scroll wheel of your mouse to zoom in and out of the photo. In addition to placing the axis bars, you also need to place the axis itself. Click and drag on the axis origin and place it over a meaningful spot on your image. Typically, this would be a corner of the building that is near your view. Remember when you're placing the axis to grab the origin itself and not the actual green, red, or blue axes. This is a good point to look at the Styles dialog box, which can be found in the Window menu. Under the Edit tab, in the Match Photo section, you can toggle the background photo on and off and change the opacity of the background image as well. A Match Photo dialog box is also found under the Window menu. Here, you have the option to turn the model itself on and off when you need to look at the image fully. You can also scale the grid to start drawing accurately. In the Match Photo box, change the spacing distance to a meaningful unit, such as 5 or 10 feet. Notice the grid spacing changes as you change the spacing. With the correct spacing, click and drag on one of the red, green, or blue axes to increase or decrease the size. If I knew this building was 30 feet tall, I might use a spacing of 10 feet then drag the axis until there are three grid spaces. If I change the grid spacing to 5 feet, I would then drag the axis until there were six grid units from the base to the top of the building to achieve 30 feet. With the axis placed and the axis bars aligned to your image, right or context click and choose Done. You can see the axis is oriented to your image, ready for you to work on. When you're modeling from a photo, it is essential that you build your geometry from the origin. Doing so assures that you are creating edges and surfaces that will be correct in perspective. As these first surfaces are built from the origin, you can then continue to build outward using the previous geometry. However, if you start drawing over your photo in random locations, you can create geometry that appears correct from this view but orbiting shows how it is wrong. Always start from the axis origin and work outward from there. As you've seen, you can easily check the model geometry by orbiting. To get back to the photo match view, use the Scene tab that is created for you. In fact, the Scene tab comes in handy when modeling. Say we needed to continue an edge from this back surface. Simply orbit and start your line. Click on the Scene tab to return to the image view, and then draw the line with the image reference. 
When modeling, it is also useful to toggle the X-ray mode on. This will allow you to refer to the image when drawing over existing surfaces. Another tip for modeling with matched photos is to understand and use inferencing. The ability to lock edges along axis directions and reference other geometry will be crucial to your success. Make sure you know how to use inferencing and inference locking in SketchUp if you want to use matched photo. This covers the basics of modeling with photos. Be sure to watch the next video to see how to use it in real-world situations and to combine multiple images together when matching photos.